Close your eyes, watch your breath. You still have a breath to watch, so take advantage of it. You made in long, out short, in short, out long, long both in and sh out, short both in and out. Try to see what kind of breathing feels good right now. This is a basic principle in the practice. As the Buddha said, right after it starts with generating the desire to abandon unskillful qualities and to develop skillful qualities. So you have to make yourself want to do this. Don't think that you have to force yourself. If you force yourself, the mind is going to find no way to slip out. So give the mind something it likes. It likes a sense of comfort. It likes a sense of fullness inside. So breathe in a way that allows for that fullness. When you breathe out, don't think of squeezing things out. Because when things get squeezed out, they're never going to get full. So think of the energy in your body staying full as you breathe in, full as you breathe out. Or you can play with the sense of the breath in the body any way you want. This is the good part about concentration. You're trying to get the mind to settle down with what it likes. So give it something that it will like here in the present moment. Because we, otherwise we cause ourselves so much suffering as we go through life. Here's a chance to alleviate some of that suffering. And to do something that's really good. We suffer because we act in ignorance. So now we're going to act with knowledge. Be clearly aware of what you're doing, the results you're getting, and you can adjust things as you like. Think of this as like learning how to play a musical instrument. In the beginning it's going to be a little difficult, because it doesn't sound especially good. You listen to other people play and they seem way ahead of you. But you decide, well, I'm going to start where I am. And bit by bit by bit you get more and more skilled at the, at the instrument. And finally you get so that you can really enjoy your playing. So learn how to enjoy your meditation. Here you have a chance. You can put down all your burdens of the day, all your responsibilities outside. You allow the mind to rest inside. Allow it to look at itself inside, to get to know itself inside. Because even though we find the world fascinating, the most fascinating thing in the world is the mind. It has all kinds of ins and outs. And one of the reasons why we cause suffering is because we don't know the ins and outs. So it takes some time. There's so many people in the world that don't have this time. They're constantly weighed down by responsibilities. But here we have some time to get out and look at our own minds. So why you have the chance to make the most of it? Because who knows how much longer we're going to have the chance? Look at the list of names that we're making merit for today. All you have to do is say, do you have any relatives you'd like to make merit for? And the lists get longer and longer and longer. I think of those multiplied many times over. As the Buddha said, if just one person, if you took all the bones that that person had had in his, many life, his or her many lifetimes, just over an eon, it would be bigger than that. And if someone could look after the pile and the pile didn't disintegrate, it would be taller than that mountain over there on the eastern horizon. Think about how many times you've been born and died again, born and died again. You ask yourself, have you had enough? You've come to the point now where you can practice to get the, train the mind so maybe you can get out. So look at this opportunity to meditate as, not as a chore or as a duty, it's an opportunity. And you can make it enjoyable. And that way it gets a lot easier to stick with it. And you learn a lot about the mind in that way. When you give the mind something good to stay with in the present moment, then you notice the things that ordinarily we go to are not nearly as attractive as they were before. That's how it should be. They were attractive because you were hungry. But now that the mind is not so hungry because it's well fed, then you look at other things you used to gobble down and say, No, I don't want that anymore. It's not worth it. And that's a sign that the mind is becoming more and more mature. As long as you find joy in the practice, you're okay.